Hello, manifestors. So, today, beware of the teachers you are listening to. So, this video is not going to be about bashing some people. But I have noticed more and more some people in my group that are quite confused about what they can and cannot do, what they can and cannot manifest. And this is not even because they are new that they are confused. I have noticed that it's because they are listening to the wrong people. So guys, especially if you are new at manifesting and you don't want to start off with limiting beliefs, Please stay tuned all the way until the end of this video. In the meantime, subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, like the video, share it, comment, so more people like you will be able to see this video. If you need my personal help, I am a manifesting coach. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and email coaching, so check the links down below. I also have a Facebook group where I share some valuable help as well. So. It's not because a teacher is a so-called manifesting teacher. It's not because they have 200,000 subscribers. And it's not because they are doing this for 20 years that they don't have limiting beliefs. Because a lot of them do. So the thing is, because they are popular, they are easily found online. So be careful of the teachers you are listening to because a lot of them, they have limiting beliefs. And you listen to those guys as if they were experts, but you are also believing that what they're saying is true. And unfortunately, if what they're saying is based on their limiting beliefs, guess what? You are going to have those limiting beliefs even more than if it were your own limiting beliefs because you believe that those guys are experts. Therefore, if they tell you that you can't manifest this or that, you are going to believe it even more. So if you are feeling confused, if you are still thinking that there are limits to what you can manifest, for example, if you think that you can manifest anything but a specific person or any other such limiting beliefs, you need to beware of those teachers that are telling you those things. Because obviously, if you're listening to them, you are going to be on one hand very confused and secondly, you are going to be limited in your own beliefs as well. So for example, there are those Neville Goddard's teaching, manifesting coaches and teachers that are going to tell you that you can be whatever you want. You can manifest whatever you want. You may even be able to transform your boss or manifest a different boss if your boss is giving you a hard time, whatever. But for some reason, you cannot manifest a specific romantic partner. Why is that? So why is that? They're saying that the reason why it's that Neville Goddard never taught that. The argument that they are using is because Neville Goddard had said that he knew of a handful of women who used to tell him that they wanted this guy and this guy and no other guy and that eventually found them a few years later married to someone else. Okay, we all know people like that, right? So Neville Goddard knew some people like that too. Does that mean that he said that you cannot manifest a specific person? No, not at all. You know why? I'm going to give you the proof why. Because I'm going to take a couple of his quotations that really shows that you can manifest a specific person and that's what he implied in those quotes. And I'm going to read to you Neville Goddard's own words about how he manifested his second wife and the story that he included in his book The Law and the Promise 
which is the story of a woman who manifested a specific person. So I hope that at least on this subject, it's going to help you understand that what those coaches, those teachers are telling you, it is not based on Neville Goddard's teaching. So do not get confused. It is based on their limiting beliefs, I guess, or their misunderstanding of what Neville Goddard taught. And maybe, just maybe, they forgot or they never read those particular writings of Neville Goddard's that I'm going to share with you today. So I'm going to read to you a few words here. Those words were pronounced by Neville Goddard himself in a lecture that he gave on May 8, 1970. And this lecture was titled, He is Dreaming Now. Neville Goddard said this, I met my wife in 1936. I fell in love with her the very moment I saw her. She didn't with me, but she didn't know that she was going to be my wife. I knew it that very moment. I just knew it. I said that you don't know it, but you're going to be my wife. So, okay. What is this? Isn't it a case of uh, manifesting a specific person? Come on, guys. When I read those lines, I... Not only I was convinced that Neville Goddard manifested his specific person, but it sounded a lot like my story. When he says that he just knew that his wife was his wife as soon as he met her, that's the feeling that I had the day I assumed that my man was my man. I just knew it, just like he's saying here. He just knew it. And he said in his mind, well, you don't know it yet, but you're going to be my wife. Just like me. I knew that my man didn't know it yet, but he was going to be my man. So guys, and I'm going to show you more stuff, okay? But if you took only these few words from Neville Goddard's mouth, because this is not in a book. This is the script of He is Dreaming Now. That's the title of the lecture. If you took only this, isn't it obvious that Neville Goddard manifested a specific person? So even if later on or before that, he had said that a lot of women should not focus so much on one man because sometimes they end up marrying another one. Well, in a way, he was contradicting himself because he himself manifested his specific person. But the truth of the matter is, I don't think he was contradicting himself. I just think that he was talking about some specific women who had focused on a specific person and eventually married someone else. But since he had done it himself, I can't believe that Neville Goddard taught. Well, I did it, but I don't want you to do it, okay? That was not Neville Goddard's personality at all. So I guess that those Neville Goddard's teaching, manifesting coaches, teachers that are saying that you cannot manifest a specific person and that Neville Goddard never taught that, they forgot. They forgot that very lecture where Neville Goddard said this. And also other things that I'm going to show you. So for example, another thing. Let's take a look at this quote here that I posted yesterday on social media. Here is what Neville is saying. When it appears that people other than yourself in your world do not act towards you as you would like, it is not due to reluctance on their part, but a lack of persistence 
in your assumption of your life already being as you want it to be. Your assumption to be effective cannot be a single isolated act. It must be a maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled. And this was taken from the power of imagination. So, again, what does Neville says here? He talks about that when people other than yourself are not acting towards you the way you want them to act towards you. So, when that happens, he's saying that you need to be persistent and believing and living as if your life were already what you want it to be. You see, here he's talking about what? About buildings, about trees, about cows. What is he talking about here? Well, he mentions what he's talking about here, right? It's talking about people. 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 What are people? Uh, okay. On their bunch of persons? A person. Okay, people are more than one person and it's also the term that we use to talk about a person in general. So he's saying here that you can actually have people act towards you the way you want them to act towards you. So if that includes people, that includes many people. People are made of many persons, right? And if you can maneuver people into acting the way you want them to act, well, I'm sorry, guys, but it means that you can definitely have one person acting towards you the way you want them to act. So here again, in this quotation, is talking about manifesting people. If he's talking about manifesting people, he's also talking about manifesting any specific person, right? Any specific people, any specific person. So again, those teachers, those Neville got it teaching manifesting teachers, who are telling you that you cannot manifest a specific person, my guess is, because there are so many writings from Neville, they can't remember them all. And as Neville got it taught, each one of us are the world pushed out. So if you come with the limiting beliefs, or the beliefs, whatever you want to call it, that Neville got it never taught about manifesting a specific person, automatically, according to the law of assumption and how it works in regards to manifesting, you are going to block out all the proofs that Neville Goddard did teach that you can manifest a specific person. You see what I mean? So that's why those people, because they have assumed that very strongly, that Neville Goddard never taught that, therefore, their assumption is working for them. They never see the proofs that he did. And here's another quote that I want to share. I shared it in my last video, but it is very appropriate for this one as well. Here it is. The actions of a man are determined by his subconscious impressions. His illusion of free will, his belief in freedom of action, is but ignorance of the causes which make him act. You never suggest to another the state which you desire to see him express. Instead, you convince yourself that he is already that which you desire him to be. So again, do you see how here Neville Goddard again explains how you manifest people and the way people act towards you? He's saying that you never suggest to another the state which you desire him to be, but instead you suggested where in yourself. All you have to do is imagine 
that the person is acting the way you want them to be acting in your imagination. And if that wasn't enough, is reminding us that free will is just an illusion. That since there is no such thing as free will, this is why we manifest the action, we manifest the behavior in people towards us. And not only romantic partners, but everyone, every single one. To give you an example, the bakery where I buy my bread, the lady at the counter was somewhat very unpleasant to me. So it's not someone very important in my life, right? It's just a place where I buy my bread. But I was catching myself to be bothered by the fact that this lady was disagreeable to me. And I was catching myself thinking about it before I even enter the bakery every day. But soon enough, I realized, hey, you are manifesting her to be this way. So I remembered that I was everyone pushed out. Guess what? One day I decided that this lady was going to be the most agreeable person on the planet. And since then, she is completely different. She's always in a good mood. Sometimes she's even joking with me. So, while this may be unbelievable for those who believe that we are not everyone pushed out, this story of mine is true and I have many more like this and many more people have many stories like this as well. So, don't you tell me, don't you manifesting so-called Neville Goddard's teaching coaches tell me that you cannot manifest a specific person and that you cannot manipulate, so to speak, their behavior towards you, because you can. If I can do it with a pure stranger, I can certainly do it with a specific person, which I already have, for the most part, a connection with. So to finish up, guys, here is the story of a woman who manifested her specific person. It's in the book, The Law and the Promise. So here it's what it says. Last August, while on the blind date, I met the man I wanted to marry. This happens sometimes, and it happened to me. He was everything I had ever thought of as desirable in a husband. Two days after this enchanted evening, it was necessary for me to change my place of residence because of my work. And that same week, the mutual friend who had introduced me to this man moved away from the city. I realized that the man that I had met probably did not know of my new address and frankly, I was not sure he knew my name. After your last lecture, I spoke to you of this situation. Although I had plenty of other dates, I could not forget this one man. Your lecture was based on revising our day. And after speaking to you, I determined to revise my day every day. Before going to sleep at night, I felt I was in a different bed in my own home as a married woman and not as a single working girl sharing an apartment with three other girls i twisted an imaginary wedding band on my imaginary left hand saying over and over to myself this is wonderful i really am mrs j e and i fell asleep in what was a moment before a waking dream. I repeated this imaginary scene for one month, night after night. The first week in October, he found me. On the second date, I knew my dream were rightly placed. Your teaching tells us to live in the end of our desire until that desire becomes fact. 
So although I did not know how he felt towards me, I continued night after night living in the feeling of my dream realized. The result? In November, he proposed. In January, we announced our engagement. And the following May, we were married. The loveliest part of it all, however, is that I am happier than I ever dreamed possible. And I know in my heart he is too. Mrs. J.E. So, here we have a lady, a single lady, that meets a man. A specific man, right? So, okay. That would be a specific person. Yeah, I think so. And because of what? Why did this woman believe that she could manifest her specific person? Because of uh, looking at the trees outside? No. Because of the teaching of Neville Goddard. The same teaching that those so-called Neville Goddard teaching coaches are telling you that you cannot manifest a specific person. Well, this lady, how come she understood that she could based on the teaching of Neville Goddard? And she did. Now, if Neville Goddard thought that this was not good or not possible or just a coincidence, he would have never put in print in his book, The Law and the Promise, that specific SP success story. So guys, I think I'm gonna stop here because this video is very long, but it's, it was needed because I am so sick and tired to hear, first of all, those coaches saying to people, that they cannot manifest a specific person and that they should just move on. And just imagine that they are in a loving relationship but without focusing on anyone specific. I'm sick and tired of this because there are some people just like this lady, they don't want anyone, they don't want anybody, they want a specific person. And guess what? If you have a desire, it's meant to be yours. So if those people didn't have the desire to manifest a specific person, then that's fine. Manifest whomever. But if you have the desire to manifest a specific person, just like if you have the desire to manifest a specific job, it means that you can have it. So I hope that this video will help some coaches if they find the video to understand that they are misleading people with their own limiting beliefs that is not true that Neville Goddard taught that you cannot manifest a specific person. And most of all, I hope that if you are one of those people who have been misled and who have had doubts that you could manifest your specific person because of the teaching of those guys, I hope that this was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to share it to other people who need this information and comment down below to let me know if it has helped you. Also, be sure to like the video because this will help YouTube know that this video should be shown to more people. So anyhow, as always, thank you for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.